So a lot of people thought we might see a pandemic baby boom by now, but it turns out that is not the case at all. And all we had to do was turn to history yet again for the answers to why. Here's Sharon. Turns out there may not be a pandemic baby boom after all. It's more of a baby bust, according to recent research from University of Maryland sociology professor Philip Cohen. It's still early um, if you think about months since the pandemic began, uh, but there's already evidence that birth rates have dipped. Um, they're lower um, than they were last year. Cohen says he's not surprised as this is classic crisis human behavior. Whether it's pandemics like the 1918 flu or wars or um, recessions, birth rates always fall during a time of crisis. And so in this case, we're seeing a decline in birth rates and we just don't know yet how big it will be or how long it will last. All of us had assumed that we were all locked up together and there was going to be a baby boom. So if you only think about one aspect of it, that is the amount of time couples spend together, that might lead to more births, but the things that lead against that are just much bigger. For example, Cohen cited the lack of control and the plethora of uncertainty everyone is facing. Anytime there's a lot of uncertainty, where are we going to be next year? What's, are we going to have jobs? Are we going to be safe? Are we going to be taking care of our elderly relatives? Um, what's happening with our health care, our housing, this people being evicted and losing their jobs and sick and family members sick. Any source of uncertainty like that is going to increase the chance that people are going to back off from a long term decision. You know what? Maybe this will resolve itself. But in the meantime, we better wait. Unplanned pregnancies are down, too, because spontaneous circumstances are less likely to be created with the closure of bars, restaurants and entertainment scenes. People just aren't meeting as much as they as they were. Um, people who already knew each other aren't advancing to the next level of their relationship as much. People just aren't having sex as much. So the million dollar question is, then why does this even matter that we're having fewer babies? Is Why is that a problem? There are some people who just think if the birth rate falls, it's trouble for society. We have less workers, we have less young people, more, you know, what their social security burden increases and so on. I'm not really too worried about those. I'm sort of on the side of people who think those we can handle all that. There's more data to gather about this baby bust in the next several years and a rebound could also be possible. For those people who are really planning and intending to have children and they postponed it or to get married or have the relationships. So there is likely to be some rebound. But usually what we've seen in other cases like the Great Recession uh, in 2009 is there's some rebound, but it's not enough to get back to where we would have been. So there's some um, some loss of births that, you know, some number of births that never happened. Just want to reiterate the fact that Professor Cohen emphasized that this is preliminary research and unfortunately there's still a lot more data to be gathered as we all live through this pandemic. But for those who are worried that U.S. population levels are going to drop like in certain places like in East Asia, specifically Japan, Professor Cohen says we're just not there yet. Well, Sharon, the study also talked about birth rates and got specific into states like Ohio, Arizona, Florida, California, all birth, all, all of those places see, saw the birth rate drop. Did they talk about Minnesota at all? Well, Professor Cohen said that Minnesota actually doesn't keep like a near real time track of birth rates. So I did reach out to MDH and they told me that the most recent data set that they could give me was from 2019 and they saw 66,033 births that year. They weren't able to give me numbers for 2020 just yet. But just to put this into perspective, the state's demographic center put out a report back in 2014 saying that birth rate levels were not back up to pre-recession levels at that point. So that just kind of gives you an idea of where we're at. Yeah, proving that professor's point, right? That we don't always get back to that level we were, so we shall see.